What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Ghost of Tsushima. Today, PlayStation Blog has a massive article about the new update, Ghost of Tsushima Legends, which will be releasing October the 16th. I'm going to link this article down in the description if you'd like to read over it for yourself. It's a very long article with a lot of information. I'm going to kind of just go over the high points. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. This will be version 1.1 of the game. Like I said, it will be releasing October the 16th. Uh, it says all you have to do, of course, once you download this, is go into the store uh, on your PS4 to download the free unlock for Ghost of Tsushima Legends, which will allow you to play. This is free for everyone that owns the game. This is the only thing you need to know is you need to have an internet connection and an active PlayStation Plus membership. Those two will be required because you're going to be playing with other players. Uh, there's going to be some different ways that you can play this. Uh, there's several different parts to the whole idea of Ghost of Tsushima Legends. The first part is, of course, once you have this downloaded, you're going to find a new storyteller, a new character, and various parts of the towns in the game. When you talk to him, you, he will be happy to share one of his transportive stories about the ghost. Once he kind of talks to you, you kind of, uh, you know, get to go to wherever you want to, you know, with whatever kind of story you want to play, whether it be a two-person uh, story mission, which is designed for two players and can take you through stories about what's really happening in Shishima. When you unlock higher difficulties, you'll face new encounters, tougher, enemy, uh, tougher enemies, bonus objectives, and greater rewards. Also, there's the survival mode, where you team up with three other players to fight off waves of enemies while defending uh, defending different locations in Shishima. You and your te uh, team can activate blessings to help yourselves, things like ignite enemies or summon a spirit bear. The longer you survive, the more bonus objectives you complete, the more, of course, rewards you will earn. Also, there's talk, kind of hint about the raid. This will be a four-player raid. It says you'll need your top gear and top skill. The raid is an th uh, epic three-part adventure that will require excellent teamwork and communication to overcome. That is all the info they really give about this. It said it will be released in the following weeks of the launch of Ghost of Tsushima Legends. They also go and talk about the four classes that you will be able to play during this, uh, you know, during any of your kind of adventures through a Ghost of Tsushima Legends. The Samurai character, which is a straight out this combat style character with an ultimate attack that can slash through enemies in a flurry of strikes. The Hunter character, which is a stand out kind of on the edge of combat, uh, combat and snipe enemies before they even see you. And says if you get overwhelmed, you can use the ultimate attack to unleash multiple arrows straight at your enemies' heads. The Ronin character, which is going to be a, a kind of almost healer idea. It says the Ronin can revive their entire team with their uh, ultimate ability. Also, they will have the uh, option to have a class ability called Spirit Animal. You can actually summon a spirit dog, and it says, yes, you can absolutely pet that spirit dog. And last but not least is the Assassin. It says if you prefer to do massive damage with uh, a single attack, you will love the Assassin idea, the Assassin character, uh, the Assassin role. You said the Shadow Strike ultimate attack will allow you to teleport across the battlefield and just directly strike down your enemies. It says if that's not intimidating enough, wait till you see the terrifying mask that the Assassin gets to wear. Some other features they're going to have, of course, is some new uh, cosmetic items. They kind of show some photos off of some of these, and some of these are absolutely insane looking. Uh, it says these will all be through gameplay without any microtransactions, so you can get all the cosmetics in game by just playing. Also, it says there's going to be an option for single player, which is going to be called New Game Plus. It says if you've already beaten Ghost of Tsushima, you'll find the option to re-embark on Jin's story in the New Game Plus. You'll start with the New Game Plus from the release to the open world shortly after Jin's initial confrontation with Khan. This is kind of like the thing they did with Assassin's Creed Odyssey when they added that in. It says you'll also find your uh, yourself with a brand new horse. Also, some uh, new things you can unlock to upgrade your sword, bow, and your armor. Also, there's going to be new trophies that are just going to be tailored to the new game plus, which will appear in a section, uh, separate section, of course, of the trophy list. There's also going to be a ghost flower merchant. It says you can exchange flowers. You know, once you complete tasks in game to uh, get new armor dies and other vanity gear only found in the new game plus featuring much more designs or elaborate designs than those you found in your first playthrough. So they're kind of giving people an option to play through the single player again if you do not want to you know necessarily play 
in the new co-op section. Also, they talked about some other features where you can go between loadouts quickly. They're going to give you armor loadouts so you can swap between those quickly, uh, to, you know, kind of depending on what play style or role you want. Uh, also, they said you can rank these new roles, these new characters that you're going to have, you know, the uh, assassin, the, of course, the, you know, the uh, samurai, these different roles that you have in the co-op. You can actually progress these and get more things for them. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.